search through the archives has yielded four classic comedy shows from the 60s. Beginning with the 1966 Morecambe and Wise show, at a time when Eric and Ernie were forging the comedy style that has carried them through the years to the present day. It's followed by another irrepressible combination, that of Sid James and Peggy Mount as feuding chauffeur and housekeeper to Master John Le Mesure in George and the Dragon. Then to a Sunday night in 1961 at Val Parnell's London Palladium, when the then compere Bruce Forsyth and comedian Norman Wisdom took the place by storm with their two-man show. And finally to 1967, to a team of zany individuals who'd later take the world by storm with Monty Python's Flying Circus. John Cleese, Graham Chapman, Barry Cryer and the rest in, at last, the 1948 show. But first, Eric and Ernie with their guests Pearl Carr and Teddy Johnson and Herman's Hermits. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Home from the Wars. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, darling. And I used to do that. Get off! <laughs> I have a fight with you to do anyway. You, didn't it? Well, I must be honest, it is me. <laughs> Handsome, manly, Eric Mock. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, home from the walls. Hello, darling! Have you missed me? Yes. Shut up, you talk too much. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Eric? Hello? Hey, who's that? It's the wife. <laughs> the wife? My wife, yeah. Don't be silly, this is your wife. No, no, my wife, wife. No, go ahead, and real. What? We're all waiting for you to kiss the girl. No, she doesn't know anything about it. What do you mean she doesn't know anything about it? She doesn't know I'm a great lover, she thinks I'm a comedian. Well, she's seen the show, she must know you're not a comedian. <laughs> no, she hasn't seen the show. I sent her away before the show started on a holiday. On a holiday? Yes. Where'd you send her to? Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> well, what's she doing back here? She's home from the wars. <laughs> Well, you better kiss her, then. Do I have to? Yeah. I always thought my wife was a fella. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. <laughs> right. Come on, Eric, your dinner's ready. Eh? Huh? It's not Stu again, is it? <laughs> not Stu. So Come on, Eric. Will you behave you yourself and you come over? Come here. Oh, oh, hey, somebody's got to kiss her. Get off. Oh, oh, you can go and get off. Get him out. Come here. Well, next, the first episode of a highly successful comedy show, George and the Dragon, with the incomparable Sidney James and Peggy Mount, after this. Now on four, the curtain rises on Sidney James and Peggy Mount as George meets his Waterloo in the person of Miss Dragon. Darling, here we go. I've told you before, George Russell. Keep your great hairy hands to yourself. I never touched you, darling. Oh! Well, hardly. 
Gabriel. Well, thank you, Gabriel. You saved me my job, and I won't forget it. No, George, you won't. <laughs> I'm not going to let you. <laughs> Next, back to an event without which Sunday wouldn't have been the same in the 60s, Val Parnell's Sunday night at the London Palladium, and one night in particular when Norman Wisdom and Bruce Forsyth literally took over. In an hour at last, the 1948 show, and among those jiggling about with the date are Marty Feldman, Tim Brooke Taylor, John Cleese and Graham Chapman. Bruce Forsyth and Norman Wisdom introduce one of the most memorable of Val Parnell's Sunday nights at the London Palladium. Good evening. Norman and I would... Uh, Norman. Norman. <laughs> Norman and I would just like to say how thrilled we are that Channel 4 has sort of made it possible for us to go back 22 years like being in H.G. Wells' time machine. But uh, just to preface the whole thing, I was the compere at the London Palladium for nearly four years. I did about oh, 120 shows there. So I was there every week. And then all of a sudden this week, um, Norman Wisdom was booked to be the top of the bill. And uh, Norman, I believe you were only booked, first of all, to do the first, you just know... the one spot. Well, you the know, one spot, the like the, the, the top of the bill spot. The top of the bill, yeah. which is normally about 10 to 12 minutes. Yeah. And... Um, and all of a sudden, I learned there was a strike. A strike. I, and I, think, right. I remember thinking to myself, oh, God, I'm going to do it now. Cause yeah, exactly. Disappointment. But, yeah. so, but then, uh, because the strike was off, I had signed anyway. Yeah. And I had and, a and sort of long-term contract you with, uh, with ATV. Yes. So I said to Billy Marsh, my agent, I, I said, why didn't you ask Val Parnell, who was the governor at that time, yeah. who was the king of show business, wasn't he? Yes. I said, why don't you ask Val if we can do the lot? Never dreaming, you see. And, of course, the answer came back down, but you must be mad. Yes. Oh, and then an hour later, Billy phoned me and says, Val says it's all right. Yeah. Ah. And that's how it all, so, that's how it so all started? Yeah, we st we st I started on the script, you see, and came that's and saw right. you at your house. You and know, we rehearsed. Of course, you had, I had food. And we rehearsed. Yeah, I had food. And, and we rehearsed. And, I, and we rehearsed. And I had food. And we rehearsed. <laughs> and I've never, ever worked so hard in my life because I'd heard a few things about the little monster. But mm. then when we actually got into it, you know, and it was got to four o'clock, five o'clock, something, let's do it just once more. Let's do the wallpaper. Wait, let's do this. Bit it's a bit of Sunday because I'm frightened, uh, you see. But you know, the wallpaper now... You weren't frightening me at all. You dominated you're talking me. About, you used this. to wallop me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we rehearsed, and uh, only because Norman is a, is a perfectionist, you know, uh, that uh, I went along with it in the end because I'd never... I, I like to rehearse, but, but not like this. But he makes sure that every... He's very meticulous about every little move every little look of the eyes and, and and it was it was great working with you and i enjoyed it I always did. marvelous well we've you know i mean occasionally we've spoken to each other since then because uh, because of that we became well yes well sort so of so acquaintances to, mm, no, i think it's probably a nice word well we used to kiss didn't we yeah so but i'm looking <laughs> forward and i know norman <laughs> is looking forward so much to going back to see the opening of the I show. I am indeed. Which, and then uh, as we go through the show, we can talk about bits yeah. and pieces. And it was it, all we? live in those can days. Can we? It's my turn. Oh, yes. We can. Uh, it's my turn. We can talk through it. You can talk no. through it. You, well, yeah. you've just been talking through me now. Well, in rehearsal, yeah. I mean, you tell me, talking about me running the rehearsal and that, you used to say, that's enough. 
And, and I used to say, well, can we do that? And you used to say, well, oh, well, all right, then lucky we're giving in. And, oh, That's right. Yeah, all right, then. And then yeah. I used to say, oh, no, later on, you talk about me driving you, I, I can distinctly remember saying, Bruce, can I go home now? <laughs> and then you, oh, fool, now don't, oh, of course. Anyway, it was live, an hour show live. Very Never live. been done before with, with two performers. Uh, the thing the was, I'm sorry batting in, but the thing, the thing was, the thing was that... that <laughs> oh, anyway, we well, do... <laughs> the, thing, the thing was yeah. that, that, as you said, you, you, you went straight on and did the lot. So, for instance, if I was playing the trumpet or whatever... And yeah, well, we're coming to that later. We'll, we'll explain all that later. Let's just are. see the yeah, opening of the show. OK, the opening of the show, oh ladies and gentlemen, live, Sunday yes. night at the Palladium, 1961. And I'll say nothing until... No, all right. Look at the screen. This is the London Palladium. Right, now coming up now to the, um, the wallpapering sketch. Now, uh, I'd done very little slapstick before doing this sketch, and I found out more about slapstick in those few weeks we rehearsed before the show than I ever knew before. And uh, Norman came up with a script for this, which well, was just a bit of paper. You know, about what? six by four, what? with just a lot of sort of scribbling on in pencil. No. And he said, this is it, we do that, and then we do it, because it was all mine. And you read it. And you, I read, you read it. it. And to my disappointment, actually, you said... What a load of rubbish. Yes, don't like that, don't like that, you see. I mean, you did say it in a jocular <laughs> fashion. <laughs> in a jocular fashion. You way, know, yeah. like... Uh, <laughs> but, but no, you didn't like it. I, and I said, look, I, I think it's good, and I think you will like it. And you said, no, I won't. And I said, well, let's rehearse for ten minutes. If you don't like it, I promise we'll take it out. And you said, no, you can't be fairer than that. Yes. And after about three or four minutes of the rehearsal, upstairs in that, whatever the it place was lovely. called, you were going... <laughs> I enjoyed it tremendously. I liked this, uh, yes. Tremendously. It was good. Uh, but, of course, I don't know whether you remember this. Something happened during that sketch that we didn't really plan, plan at all uh, because we hadn't really done it with the real slosh. That's right. Know, the full slosh. Yeah, yeah. And there was one bit where I'm up the ladder and, you know, I'm dipping the thing and the paste and you, <laughs> get, you keep getting it in your... You keep getting the brush in your, in your, on your face and I dip... Because I'm like this and you're, you're getting it all. And then, because there was so much slosh in my hand, I was supposed to get the brush at the bottom of the thing and tip it up. But, right. of course, we didn't realise, with all the slosh, I couldn't hold the, the brush. Right. So I was there, in that split <laughs> second, I they oh, the, the, the brush is gone, what do I do now? So I just went like that. And, of course, Did you got lot. the lot. Yes, and we right. still got the laugh yeah. with it, thank goodness. Well, I was going to... Yeah. And the other thing you might not remember no, is that this, the trestle, well, you knocked the trestle. Ah, and well, I was yeah, so the trestle glad was straight it was up. You no. Because <laughs> if it had been me, you'd have said, oh, we didn't rehearse enough. So <laughs> I'm glad. But, well, no, we were very lucky because the trestle, the trestle went straight up. I know, up, but if you hadn't closed, brushed it in no the first place, it wouldn't have gone over at all. It was you. It wasn't. It. Well, we'll you watch. 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 Yeah, we'll watch. You watch. 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 Yes. And, and you watch this. <laughs>
there you are. Look, camaraderie, more like kamikaze. <laughs> The way you left me lying on the revolving it, it, stage it like was, that. It was me who was smothered in Oh, lad. Right. Look, look, look after 22 years, the, after yes. looking at that show again, can you <laughs> now look into a camera and tell that story without laughing? Yeah. For goodness sake. I was walking down the street the other day and I saw some men laying in the road for what it is for a man <laughs> I said, I said, what you, what you do? I wonder when he fall. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great pleasure to be with you and uh, on behalf of Norman and myself... Uh, Good night. ..a very happy new year. Good night. Yes, and it's been lovely Christmas. to look back on those days, isn't it? <laughs> and lovely. Right, Norman Wisdom is currently appearing in Robinson Crusoe at the Apollo Theatre, Oxford. Finally, a show that gave a group of zany, irreverent individuals the chance to show off their surrealist style of humour to perfection and paved the way for their future. At last, the 1948 show, In a Moment. Half an hour, Peter Laurie stars as the inscrutable but never lost for a solution Japanese detective. Now, from the deep down in the damp and dusty vaults, at last, the 1948 show. At last, the 1948 show, and introducing your hostesses for tonight. I'm Frances Dean. I'm Penny Brown. I'm Joan Crane. I'm Amy MacDonald. And we're all lovely, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> but I'm the loveliest. <laughs> English. Today, as usual, we speak only the English. Today, the tea party. I am a chartered accountant. I am also a chartered accountant. I am a chartered accountant, too. I am a gorilla. All four of us are chartered accountants. Except me. Two minutes break. Christmas Tuesday crime detection Japanese style. Well, Peter Laurie style.
you can't swim, ask about lessons at your local swimming baths. Do learn to swim. It could save your life.